sing come to God and high affections makes to crown this conquest with unmeasured praise with unmeasured praise so good day uh, I am here to examine Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs uh, as and uh, explain how his concepts impact a student's ability to learn as well as support the need for teachers to pay particular attention to these factors. Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a theory of motivation in psychology proposed by Abraham Maslow himself, you know, in his 1943 paper captioned a theory of human motivation in psychological review okay so for Maslow the most basic of needs must be met before the individual desires greatly for the next in the hierarchy of needs this theory has a serious link with the set of children who are known to be the Millennials the question is who are the Millennials many researchers report that millennials are those children who were born between 1982 and the year 2004. They labeled millennials because they labeled millennials because uh, they were the first generation to reach adulthood in the 21st century. Okay, so today millennial students few our classrooms especially in the high schools and universities and they are more in number millennials were the first to grow up with computers in almost every household because because every household have internet access which provided them with the instant ability to download music you know and talk to friends via text messages instant messages and obtain information at the moment's notice on their smartphones which has made them multi-takers being extremely tech savvy has led them to see technology at school as inadequate if not up to date they expect teachers to use technology as a part of learning process so millennials will absorb information at a fast rate and teach and reach boredom quicker when subjected to old traditional teaching methods okay so of course it is imperative that today's educators understand these generations and the impact society has had on their lives now according to maslow abraham maslow the physiological and the safety needs must be satisfied first before the longing of the other needs like love esteem and self-actualization okay so from this strand uh, he created a classification system which reflected the universal needs of society as its base and then proceeding to more acquired emotions he used the terms physiological safety belongings and love social needs or esteem and self-actualization to describe the pattern through which human uh, motivation generally moves so this means that in order for motivation to arise at the next stage each stage must be satisfied satisfied with the individual themselves okay the goal in Maslow's theory is to attain the fifth level of stage and this stage is called the self-actualization stage this was expressed in his 1954 book okay uh, titled motivation and personality for the above we see that Maslow's theory of motivation as it is seen in his hierarchy of needs is aimed at self-actualization which follows a hierarchical ladder. In this sense, destitution or poverty could serve as an obstruction to actualizing this objective when 
the physiological safety needs are not met for those coming from economically poor background okay hence uh, economy can serve as a, a, a stumbling block or hindrance to achieving uh, safe actualization of which the whole project of maslow hinges uh, upon when physiological needs are not assured and provided the student finds it difficult to concentrate or study in the classroom okay so the physiological needs of food and water must be provided and assured before any learning or disposition for learning can take place in this way when these factors are not adequately addressed they become impediment in the learning process as we have it okay so it does not stop when the physiological needs are served the safety needs come to play because a child should first be assured of his safety before he can dream or desire goes okay these safety needs these safety needs are satisfied must be satisfied okay many children who do not perform well in classes in classes may have been stunted in their intellectual social and moral growth because they have not satisfied basic needs so to do this teachers should have to try to know their students by name and on one-on-one -on -one basis which is very very necessary they should have their attention on the details of how all the fundamental needs of these children are provided okay in a place like nigeria a conscientious teacher begins his or her lectures every morning with questions like this one hope you ate well today or what did you eat today so in schools we are children of the rich come to school with food flask the children of the poor may also be assisted with the permission of the student's owner and the parents share from the meal of the rich this will foster integration and the required share faith and the purpose unfortunately in nigeria we have up to 85 percent of children under the poverty line and up to 41 million poor children this stati this statistics tells us how many children that are struggling to meet up with the fundamental hierarchy of needs as highlighted by abraham maslow himself this situation is one of the contributing factors to the low level of academic motivation and success in a country like nigeria in west africa i think this inability to meet up with the fundamental hierarchy of needs in physiological and safety needs can explain the high rate of low self-esteem among nigerian students and youth this is why we have many on unfulfilled adults who have not actual actualized their dreams thus they become sad and angry and this explains the portrait of common nigerian man of today an angry man so here now we have some uh, references like uh, a theory of human motivation in psychological review. Okay. This is a paper written by Abraham Maslow in 1943 from where he originally developed his theory of the hierarchy of needs. This paper uh, first appeared in the Psychological Review, which is a scientific journal that published articles on psychological theory. The Psychological Review publishes articles that make important theoretical contributions to any area of scientific psychology. Reference is given to papers that advance theory. From this trend, we can understand the publication of Abraham Maslow's theory, theory in this journal because of the novel theory of motivation it advocated. In this paper, Maslow held that the integrated wholeness of the organism must be one of the foundation stones 
of motivation theory. He stated that uh, practically all organ, all organisms, all the states are to be understood as motivated, as and then as motivated. From this postulation, Maslow listed his hierarchy of needs, beginning with the physiological, safety, love, esteem, and then self uh, actualization. For him, every motivation theory should be human-centered rather than animal-centered. In relation to our paper, we see the economic needs falls within the ambience of the physiological and safety needs, which form the basis of the hierarchical ladder of needs. This could explain the reason why governments are charged primarily to see to the physiological and safety needs of the people through securing life and property. However, when this primary duty of government is neglected or not actualized, it becomes a hindrance and an obstacle to the actualization of the ultimate aim or purpose of self-actualization. This is why the ability of children from poor economic background may be deterred when government or through parents and guardians their economic needs are not met. Okay. In fine, the ability of students are to a great extent determined by economic variables which can come in form of physiological and then safety needs. Okay. The next one is motivation and the personality. Motivation and personality is a book on psychology by Abraham Maslow first published in 1954. This book is a follow-up to a paper he presented in 1943 titled A Theory of Human Motivation that appeared first in the Journal of Psychological Review. Maslow's book is perhaps the best-known contemporary work on human needs. Maslow postulated a hierarchical pyramid of human needs stretching from basic physical needs at the bottom to spiritual or transcendental needs at the top. Maslow's work deals with the subject of the nature of human motivation and fulfillment. Okay, so it also threatens, threatens the significance of personal relationship, implementing a conceptualization of self-actualization. In this book, Maslow established that physiological drives are starting point for motivation theory and from the foundation, other needs, including safety, love, esteem, and uh, love, esteem, and uh, self actualization are built. In line with our paper, Maslow argues that in order for individuals to thrive and excel, a health fostering culture must be created. Maslow is almost the psychological theorist who believed that when parents fail to provide a safe, nurturing environment, their children will develop deep feeling of insecurity which will hamper their learning abilities. Maslow considers human beings to be energized by an actualizing tendency and believes that well-being occurs to the extent people can freely express their inherent potentials. In fine, economic needs can greatly affect the physiological and safety needs of children under the age of learning, and in such situation, the aim, which is self-actualization, becomes impossible to actualize. Okay, now we we'll move to the three teaching goals. Number one, intrinsic motivation to learn. The first teaching goal, according to our paper here, has something to do with helping to instill in the children the intrinsic motivation to learn. This can only be actualized when their basic physiological and the safety needs are provided. That is, when these basic needs are provided, their motivation shifts from these needs 
to higher goals, which include the motivation to learn and enhance their ability. Another one is the extrinsic motivation to learn. The poor children could be assisted through uh, scholarships and uh, monetary grants. Sometimes the idea of using the reward and the punishment technique for learning could extrinsically motivate the child to learn and acquire new skills and improve his learning ability. And then the third one and the final one is developing a balanced and well-rounded personality. The aim of education is not only intellectual or academic performance, but it gears towards uh, producing a well-rounded and balanced personality who can be termed balanced in character and learning. Okay, thus the hierarchy of needs when fully actualized from the physiological needs up to its end of self-actualization creates the needed fulfillment and the balanced personality needed for the growth of the society. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.